Hi guys, I hope you're all well. So in this short video, I just wanna talk about what is a really, really essential um, COVID protecting mechanism that I think we should all be using and all have access to, particularly right now in the spiraling rates of um, COVID that is affecting Britain, Europe, most of the world. We need to really be as proactive and as empowered as we can should we come down with an infection, be that with a vaccine or without a vaccine. Um, and whilst there are lots of aspects that we use in terms of our COVID protocols, the one I wanna talk about today is the famous Bay Laurel Essential Oil. Um, and it's been known for uh, decades now that the, the something called VOCs, volatile organic compounds that are found within the bay laurel um, tree and the essential oil, they've been tested against most or many, many types of SARS viruses. Um, SARS viruses, you know, the, the very nasty, aggressive respiratory viruses that COVID is part of. There's lots of research showing how the compounds in bay laurel help to slow down the proliferation rates of those viruses in the human lungs. So they help to prevent the ability of the cells of the virus to dock onto human cells. So in terms of slowing down the proliferation of the virus in our bodies, in terms of inhibiting the ability of the virus to, to dock onto our cells, we know that bay laurel is, is effective, we know it's evidence-based, we know that the research shows it's pretty compelling, but what makes bay, La uh, bay laurel particularly relevant and of particular importance in the context of COVID is a very, very famous study conducted in Italy, which compared the rates of uh, positive infections in people of, in different parts of Italy. And the, the, the headline finding was that people living in high forested areas, people living around woods, forests, copses, trees, had a lower rate of infection than people living away from forested areas. And the research began to tease that apart and say, why? What is it? And what they found was that it's the VOCs, the volatile organic compounds found within certain forests that the inhabitants of those re uh, regions were breathing in you know, day in, day out, that helped to protect their lungs and activate their immune system against the specific COVID-19 virus. Um, and what was uh, you know, the, the type of tree that had the most effect? It was the laurel trees, okay, particularly the bay laurel. So those two sets of research very much corroborate each other to show how powerfully protective the, the specific chemicals in the bay laurel tree are at preventing infections, slowing the rate of growth, reducing the ability of the virus to dock to our cells, supporting our immune mechanisms. It really is a, a one-stop shop um, for COVID prevention and COVID treatment. And it's so easy to use. You can get a diffuser. What we do is we diffuse, get a diffuser and we just have it diffusing in our, in our, in our house, in the kitchen, in the living room, in our office and study. Um, so we're constantly breathing it in. Uh, that's a great protective, a great preventative. Obviously, if you've got an acute infection, you want to be more aggressive. And it's just a case there of you know, a big bowl of, of steaming water, put in quite a few drops so it's really strong, big towel over the head, and really deeply inhaling diaphragmatic breaths, inhaling you know, huge volumes of those volatile organic compounds into the lungs uh, for 10 minutes and repeating that three, four, five times a day. And um, in the patients we've seen use this, the impacts upon how quickly they recover from positive COVID infections and how uh, reduced their symptom load is, is I'm absolutely convinced around the impact and effectiveness of this. Um, so it's super easy to get. Um, try and get organic. I'll post a link for a great company in Britain, Ashadi, who we use. Um, but if you just did one thing to help empower yourself against COVID, this would be one of the things that I would suggest doing. It's incredibly effective. Any questions, let us know.